Hey guys, and welcome to Words of Scale. I myself have finally caught up to this chat GPT craze. And in the today's video, I'll be showing you 10 solid ways how you can use chat GPT in your blogging. And I will be giving out the prompts and I'll be showing you the results and the outputs as per usual. So first things first, what is chat GPT? Chat GPT is an optimizing language model for dialogue. And they say they have trained a model called ChatGPT, which interacts in a conversational way. The dialogue format makes it, makes it possible to chat for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, admit mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and so on and so forth. So let's head over to ChatGPT. It is free. You need to have an open AI account, but for now it is free. So it's one of the biggest benefits of ChatGPT. And I want to show you 10 amazing ways that you can use ChatGPT. So here we go. So the first thing would be quite obvious. It is the titles. And I will give you an example for one of my blogs. So I have this blog post that is about the average retirement income by zip code. And it's attracting impressions, but not clicks. So what I do, I ask ChatGPT to write five clickbait titles for a blog post named average Reti retirement income by zip code. And voila, it's doing its magic and it spits, it's spitting out the five titles. So the first one is, you won't believe the shocking difference in retirement income by zip code. That's quite good. This map of retirement income by zip code will blow your mind. Find out where you can retire in luxury. Retirement income by zip code. See how your city stacks up against the rest. The ultimate guide to, for retirement income by zip code. You, are you living in the right place? And I actually like this one. So let's see if it's under 70 characters, which is needed for the H1 title. So let's paste it over. And it's 75 characters. Let's see if we can do one better. Let's uh, ask ChatGPT to rewrite. Rewrite, I can't spell today. Rewrite under 70 characters or less. Unbelievable difference in retirement income by zip code. And this one I actually like a lot. Me like it a lot. And it's 558 characters. Perfect. And if I wanted to write a meta description, I would just ask ChatGPT to do just that. Write a meta description for the above. I'm pretty sure that for the above is not necessary, but just in case. Discover the staggering variations in retirement and go by zip code and learn how to plan for your own retirement. This is quite good. I like it a lot. And if you like this video, I can make a comparison between ChatGPT and Jasper. <laughs> so if you want to see this showdown, let me know in the comment section down below. So that was the first way you can use ChatGPT, the titles and meta descriptions. Let's see at some of the other ways. So the second way is explanations and the way Google works, for example, if you want to explain linear regression to a child, for Google to return valuable results, an article has to be written about that. And I'm pretty sure it's been written because it's one of my blogs as well. But I wanted to show you that chat GPT is perfect when it comes to explanations. So I am asking to explain linear regression to a child and what chat GPT spits out is linear regression is a way to understand how one thing is related to another. So in pr pretty simple. For example, if you want to know how much you weigh based on your height, you could use linear regression to find the relationship between the two. You could then use the relationship to make a prediction like how much you might weigh if you grew taller. And that is perfect. I mean, I'm pretty sure that majority of uh, children from five to seven years old and older can understand this concept. So the second way is explanations. So the third way is answer targets. And we all know how Google, with its recent helpful update, uh, wants you to answer the question directly. And let's ask ChatGPT to answer this question here, how to buy Bitcoin based on RSI. To buy Bitcoin based on the RSI, you would first need to find the RSI value. 
Once you have the RSI value, you can use it to determine whether the current price of Bitcoin is overbought or oversold. If the RSI value is above 70, do this. If the RSI value is below 30, do that. And this is a perfect answer target to my, in my opinion. So it answers the question directly and hands-on. And this is just perfect for blocks. So the third way of using chat GPT was the answer targets. Now the fourth way is ideas. And let's ask uh, the AI to list 20 ideas for a 40th year birthday of a man. And it's thinking. Should mean that it's going to write something interesting, I reckon. I'm waiting and waiting. And sometimes you get these delays since like everybody is using GPT, chat GPT right now. Like I've heard in one video that uh, the usage crossed 1 million users like in a week. And okay, let's read through, have a birthday party with friends, take a cooking class, take a dance class and this and that. And this is fairly straightforward. And I'm sure if you asked Jasper to do the same, it would return similar results. But what Jasper cannot do and uh, ChatGPT3 can is the fifth way of using the system. So another amazing opportunity within the ChatGPT is clustering. And to play around with clustering, we need to create a list of some sort. So let's ask ChatGPT to write a list, a list of blog title ideas about possible applications for chat GPT and excuse my crazy writing skills and I should have probably gone for a concrete number because the larger the list the better the clustering but let's see what it comes up with Okay, let's try something else. Future the above into categories and add the information to a two column table. Okay, and you see what it's doing? It's categorizing and clustering the above titles into different categories like business, customer service, HR, productivity, healthcare, financial services. And if this list was like 50 block titles or 30 block titles, it would have looked much better. So let's try something else. List 50 ideas for blog posts about AI copywriting. The basics of AI copywriting, the role of AI copywriting, how AI copywriting can improve your SEO, the benefits of AI copywriting, the ethics, how AI copywriting can help you generate more leads, I should probably finish my video right now and <laughs> write those ones myself <laughs> because these are some very solid titles. Hopefully nobody steals them. But it doesn't matter. I'm all for sharing guys and gals. I actually wonder if any females of you in my videos at all. Okay, so not 50, but almost 40. And let's try the same command as above. Filter the above into categories and add the information to a two column table. That's it. 
as you can see writing is not my forte and see what it's doing isn't isn't it crazy i mean you need some fancy clustering tools to do just that and chat gpt is just categorizing and clustering everything into basics seo email marketing personalization ethics social media and yeah lead generation beautiful storytelling and in my previous generations when i was playing around with chat gpt i was able to achieve that several titles fall under the same category so it's more like uh, clustering that we are used to like clustering with surfer seo for example and here i can see it basically one category means one block title let's see if we can uh, if we can cluster the above cluster the above into five categories and add them to and add the information to a to column table See what it's doing and it's actually writing this in the html format for some reason but that's okay <laughs> so it's clustering the above into several categories the first one being basics and overview the second applications and benefits and yeah if you play around with it more i, I just don't want this video to be any longer i'm sure you can achieve similar results row in specific fields well let's it's actually quite good. The next application is fairly simple. It's translation. So we'll just use something. Uh, again, write an explanation. Explain God to a child, for example. And then let's try to translate the above in Italian. I don't know Italian anyway. <laughs> if you do, you can pause the video and see if it's any good but it is an opportunity that you have within the chat gbt interface and there you go it's writing in italian my guess would be that it's using deep l algo to do that but still so the seventh way would be to use it as a regular copywriter and write intros and conclusions. But uh, let's try an intro first. I will ask ChatGPT to write a relatable intro for a blog post about how to deal with huge financial loss. If you're experienced, if you've experienced a significant financial loss, you know how overwhelming and devastating it can be. It can feel like your world is crumbled around. Huh? and you might be struggling and in this blog post we'll share some tips and advice for dealing with a huge financial loss and get it back on track so this is very nice this is a very very solid intro so the eighth way would be uh, to write summaries and i'll show it to you in a second so let's write a book summary for the alchemist by paulo coelho and in the book summary niche can be quite lucrative you can promote audible you can promote amazon the Alchemist is a novel by Paulo Coelho that tells the story of Santiago, a young shepherd living in Andalusia, Spain. As Santiago travels, he meets a variety of people. Throughout his journey, Santiago is confronted with the choice between safety and security. The Alchemist is a beautifully written and inspiring novel that teaches readers the value of pursuing one's dreams or following one's heart. So it's actually written a summary to a summary, a conclusion to a summary, rather. Good job. A very well done job, I would say. So along the same lines, the ninth way to use ChatGPT uh, for bloggers would be to write creative stories. Let's have some fun and write a funny story about a French bulldog named Buddha who once saw a shadow in the backyard. Ooh, spooky. Once upon a time, there was a French bulldog named Buddha who lived in a cozy little house. One day, as Buddha was lounging in the sunshine, he noticed something strange. 
As you get closer, Buddha could see that the shadowy figure was actually a giant fluffy teddy bear. <laughs> but just as Buddha was getting into the swing of things, the teddy bear suddenly came to life. He began to growl and snarl, and, and Buddha realized he had stumbled upon a fierce teddy bear monster. <laughs> Well, you can read it through, but it's actually quite good. Finally, one of the ways you can use ChatGPT is to write text prompts for Dolly AI or Jasper Art. And let's ask uh, the AI to generate a text prompt for Dolly to draw a photorealistic line. Draw a photorealistic line in the savanna which, with tall grass and a clear blue sky in the background. Okay, let's see if it's actually any good. And I'll go to Dolly and I'll paste it in. And let's click Generate. Drum roll, please. If you try hard enough, you can see, you can have pictures like this, which is a photorealistic line. <laughs> and this is something to think about. So there you have it. Here are your 10 ways to use ChatGPT. And again, if you want me to record a video about a show, showdown with Jasper AI, please comment down below and like this video and I'll be on it. Hopefully this video was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.